Hi, my name is Jeff Klubeck of Get a Clue Incorporated. I'm, I'm the head coach, the owner, and all of that. I'm also uh, a senior consultant with Wolf Management Consultants. And whether I'm doing corporate you know, consulting or corporate coaching or, or legal office training with Wolf Management Consultants, uh, or whether I'm doing coaching or consulting with the small and micro business environment that I take care of and get a clue incorporated. Regardless of who I'm talking to, networking is one of the things that everybody needs. And it's something that we all hear about. Even This is like one of the things that they even tell you about in school, believe it or not. They say, oh, networking is important. Relationships are important. And I think everybody would agree that they know that it's important and that they maybe even have experienced the importance of it. Have you know Something wonderful in your life has happened because of networking. But how, who's teaching networking? Who's teaching how to get better at it? Who's teaching how to do it? And you know, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I'm the world's greatest expert on networking, but I'm pretty good. I've built a wonderful coaching business and, and, and gotten a lot of fans, if you will, and, and a lot of wonderful things have happened because of networking. I'm smiling thinking about some of the examples, but I'll tell you, the real reason I'm gonna talk to you about networking right now is because I'm in Brian Tracy International Green Screen Studios, and I'm waiting for the next PowerPoint to load up, and we're just, I don't wanna waste time. This is expensive stuff here. So I emailed myself a couple of tips on networking that I could just read right off the phone and share with you right now to make sure I'm taking advantage of the wonderful, wonderful time in studio that I've, that I've rented out here. So a couple of tips on networking. And, you know, first of all, think about where you want to be, right? Like, where do you go? There's a lot of things that you could do to figure out where to go and do networking. I mean, if you have my personality, you can network at a gas station in an elevator, make eye contact with me, I'm going to introduce myself. But not everybody has that type of personality. So where do you want to go? Who are the people that you want to talk to? Who are the people that you want to help? Where do they go? Uh, a great resource that's come up uh, these days, for example, is meetup.com. You can put in keyword searches and have stuff emailed to you automatically that uh, events and organizations and meetings that are happening around town. Uh, you know, and then there's traditional stuff like networking uh, breakfasts or lunch, networking groups like BNI, Abra, Latip, all of them are out there. But when you get there, what are you going to do? You know, once you've decided where you're going to go, what do you do when you get there? So I've emailed myself a couple of tips. First of all, determine your goals, right? Why are you networking? You say, well, because it's important. You know, because they always said in college it was important. Okay, take it a little further than that. Why is it important? What are you hoping to get out of it? And, and I, it's a pet peeve of mine that most people go ahead and they do networking to get something out of it, right? Please, please consider making your goal or including in your goals for networking, helping others. I mean, that's my goal when I go out networking. I, I, I know that, that I'm going to get everything I want. Anything that I could possibly want in life is going to come to me if I'm focused on helping others. I think it was, um, was it Zig Ziglar, I think, that made, you know, made that quote famous? But it's true. So I have a goal of meeting people and not just meeting them, but when I meet them to figure out how I can help them. And I'm not going to be able to figure that out unless I can learn more about them. So, so the second tip that I have is know what you will ask. Know what you're going to ask people. When you come across somebody, it's very easy to say, well, so what do you do? And they're going to tell you, but we all know that ourselves are our favorite topic, right? So if you can get somebody talking about themselves, you're already on your way to building good rapport. After a while, they're going to want to know what you do if you're asking good questions. So questions like I like to ask are, you know, what do you do? What's the product or service? Why'd you get into it? What's wonderful about it? What, what are you excited about right now that you're working on? Are, are you facing any challenges? What's your competitive advantage? I mean, what makes you different at selling this or you know, promoting this than anybody else, right? So I like to get people thinking, of course, about what, what they're great at and, and, and what they're excited about. And of course, it serves me to ask them what they may be challenged by because I'm also a coach listening for how I can really help. <clears throat> But same thing. You, the, the third tip here is know what you will answer. What if somebody asks those same questions of you? What if you meet me at a networking event and I start asking you all these questions? So above and beyond knowing what you want to ask, you want to know what your answers are. What are the big fat claims that you can make about your products and services? What are your features? Or what are the, what, you know, what's, what's your competitive advantage? What do you do that nobody else does? What do you do better than anybody else? Right? How do people benefit when they, when they work with you? What are the things that people get? when they use your products or services. More importantly, how does that make them feel? Because it's not the things that we want, it's how the things make us feel that we really want. And are you aware? You, are you aware of the emotions that people experience when they benefit from using your product or service? Be aware and be ready to talk about it. Um, how would you prove it? Are there statistics, are there facts, are there testimonials, are there demonstrations, comparisons? If somebody was questioning you or if somebody really wanted to learn more, how can you move them into imagining how you're able to prove that you're so good at what you do and that you could deliver what you say you're delivering? And then, and of, and of course, <clears throat> know what your process is for follow-up. If you're having a great conversation with somebody, you need to be able to, if somebody says, so where does it go from here? Or what's next? Or 
you know, that uncomfortable moment sometimes where people don't know how to end the networking conversation, know how to move towards setting an appointment, know how to move towards follow-up, which is my last tip, but let me make sure I don't forget some of these others that I've written down. Uh, you may have heard this before, it's not net sitting and it's not net eating, it's net working. So it's important for you to see it as work, as effort. Excuse me while I take some water. You don't want to just stand in the corner of the room with your water or your beverage, and, and you don't want to just talk to your friends or the people that you're comfortable with. You need to see it as effort. You need to put an effort into it because it, it can be a lot of fun. Networking is it's one of my favorite things to do to market myself, but it is work and it is effort. It is going to require thought and discipline and so forth. Um, another simple tip, this is very simple, a lot of people forget it, have a pen. Have a pen with you, have it ready and handy or know where you could get one real quick. But when you get these business cards and, and, and sometimes there's three, four, seven, twelve business cards that you're coming back with, do you remember the conversation that you had with people? Do you remember what it was about that person that stood out to you? What information or data point you could follow up with? Well, it really sends a great message when you get somebody's card to take out a pen and write down a little note. So you non-verbally tell them, hey, I want to remember you. I don't just want your card to throw it into my database to spam you later on with my email marketing campaign, I actually want to pick up the phone and call you and remind you of the conversation that we had. Or I want to write something into my follow-up note to you that reminds you that we had a conversation that you were important to me above and beyond just the herd mentality that sometimes can exist at a networking function. And, and of course, you've heard it a couple of times in all of these pointers. The, the last tip that I have for you is follow-up. Follow up. I mean, I don't know how many people really think that they're just going to show up to a networking event, have their hand out, and all of a sudden double their revenue. It just doesn't happen like that. You need to follow up. You need to contact people by phone, by email. My favorite is to write a handwritten note. Let me show you right here. I brought them with me just to show you. Uh, it didn't cost me a lot of money at all to get these cards created that say Get a Clue Incorporated on them. Right? And it's a little different from the business card. And it's very easy for me to go and write a handwritten note, tuck it in the mail. Who, who does that these days? You have an opportunity to stand out, further brand yourself. So, so whether it's you know, small and micro business networking, or whether it's, it's corporate networking, like the, the networking I do with Wolf Management Consultants, have some stationery, you know, and make it part of your follow-up arsenal. It's so easy just to send an email, hey, great to meet you, can I add you as a friend on Facebook? It's different when you take a minute to actually think about the person that you talked with to show a genuine commitment to building rapport. Because networking isn't networking unless you build rapport and build good relationships. And I hope some of the tips that I've given you today uh, are, are things that are you know, easy for you to implement. Maybe something, some of this you're doing, maybe some of it you're not doing. But if you take one thing away from this video, I'm happy. And I hope I see you out there in the wonderful world of San Diego or wherever we happen to be networking. I'm Jeff Klubeck with Get a Clue Incorporated. And I'm also a senior consultant with Wolf Management Consultants. And I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.